Crab Rave. All right, we're here for it. Not only that, Jumbo also forced Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix carry, so I gotta play Kha'Zix carry. Watch me just not play, just watch me just not hit Kha'Zix. But now we're in plat, so here we are. This is the game we bought for. We got a loon? Oh no. Alright, well we got a sword. That's a good start at least. Well, a loon has no part in this build. A loon has zero part in this build. The actual build you want to go is like Kha'Zix, Malphite, Nico, Soraka, Maybe we can go, um, maybe we go Orn, Orn with Malphite, there's Malphite, there's also Kindred, we could go Faded, Faded wouldn't be bad, you know, go Faded with it, if we get a Faded spat then we could always play Faded Kha'Zix, Give him AD with give him AD and attack speed. Or maybe some resistances as well. Resistances and damage. They're not bad items for Kha'Zix. Because you kinda want the Bloodthirster anyway, right? You want Bloodthirster, Titans, and Hodge. Altruist crest? I don't think there's really room for Altruist aside from, you know, the Soraka you have, so I don't think so. Jeweled Lotus wouldn't be bad. You have my bow wouldn't be terrible. I think Gargantuan Resolve is really the thing that I would love. Jeweled Lotus would have been okay too, but I'm, I'm gonna go you have my bow. It's BT Titans and Hodge is actually best in slot. BT Titans and Hodge. Because you can already you, you already get crit from Reaper. Like crit spells from Reaper. Yeah. Alright, so I'm not gonna... I think I'm gonna play just, like, the items on Yasuo for just this turn. And then we'll probably move over into Kha'Zix after this. But I think we ditch these. Maybe I should have actually played the Kha'Zix instead, because then we would have had... Then we would have had 20 gold. Cool. Very nice. There's another Kha'Zix. There's another... Just sell Ka if you win. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's I think it's just still stick with this for the moment. Maybe I should have played the Behemoth instead. I mean, Kindred does a decent amount of damage. Yasuo blocks a good amount of damage. That's the reason that I really like him right now. That's the reason I really like him. Kha'Zix gives more crit, by the way, with, with Reaper, so it's like... Or not with Reaper, with Heavenly. So that's that's also really good. The BT is not enough for Yasuo. Alright, so we lost once. Now we stop caring about wins. Now we just completely stop caring. And we just play, like... Maybe we start stacking Dryad. I don't think we're going to get kills, though, is the thing. Like, honestly, I don't think that we're going to get kills. We have a chance of fighting this guy. If we do, then we get then we get kills there. Boiling point? Hmm. Maybe we start stacking Dryad. Nah, we can stack Dryad later. It's not really that important. This Yoni is just going to start attacking the Ka again, yeah. Okay. We got one kill. Not bad, not bad.
Everybody's at least got a little bit of um, attack speed. That's so cute. Look at the birds. That's so cute. I love this board. I want this board. That's the board that you that you need uh, to get from Treasure Realms, right? Champ dupe. We want uh, vest. We want vest. Yeah, I think that's the one you get from from Treasure Realms. Who did I just face? Jewel Donut. Oh my God! Look, he's got frogs on his side. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Well, I, I I have like I'm that's what I'm doing is I'm actually going and putting all my treasure tokens into the board, not into um, the frogs croak after the round ends. Oh, that's cute. Just use my dupe on the on the one star Kazix. Get him a two star right now. But yeah. Play is to hyper roll down to like 30 or 40 on like 2 6. Not 2 6, 3 1. 3 1. She got the Morgue GB on literally her first roll. Streamers. Streamers, am I right? I wish I had streamer luck. You gotta be a riot partner in order to have that streamer luck. You know? I mean, we definitely want Kiana in this comp, right? Yeah. And honestly, now that we have the Titans on him, I think that it is just... I think it is, is just, uh, go for three heavenly instead. Well... No, it's it's that's not worth. It could be though. It could be though. You know, because then we then we make the money. Then we then we make the money by selling this guy. Come on, Kazix. Kill him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to win this one. Sell that. Content with your chunk, the wise in his arena? Sheesh. Good for you. Yeah, I don't have any treasure realms. I'm, I'm definitely not spending money on, on this game. Also, we are going to get so much money from the crab rave. I just wish that I would hit Kha'Zix. <laughs> Oh no. But yeah, later on it's like we go something more along the lines of like Kane, Morgana, Wukong. I mean that's basically the comp, right? Right, who am I missing? Kiana? Kiana. Do you Reaper 4? No. Usually not. Reaper 4 is usually a bait. usually a bait. Okay, well that's that's better than this for right now. So we roll down a little bit here to try to hit everything that we need. Kindred, sure. Okay, there's some Kha'Zix. There's a Kha'Zix. There's a Malphite. Malphite, Malphite. Roll down to like 30 for this. Yeah, okay. Then we're just gonna slow roll above 50 for the rest. Only Reaper 4 if you get the emblem. Yeah. Pretty much. Reaper 4, if you get the emblem, is fine. But it's usually a bait to go all four Reapers. It's very hard to build a comp around them. Like, Kha'Zix is usually okay for Heavenly. Reaper on a loon with Umbral is nasty. I mean... I did that. I did that. That's why Zach's always mad at me. 
reveals your upcoming opponent for the rest of the game. Hmm. Tiny but deadly? Tiny but deadly is actually kind of sleeper on Kha'Zix. Kind of sleeper good on Kha'Zix. Right? But Boom's pretty okay too. Jeweled Lotus though. Infinity Forces. Now I think it's... Oh man, these are, these are some real tough choices. I think it's Jeweled Lotus though. I think it's Jeweled Lotus. Is it? Is it? Nah, I think tiny but deadly, though. Like, the entire team gets the attack speed? Ah, but the Freaky Friday is just so good. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go Infinity Force. We already have a little bit. Scouting and positioning time? True, but I'm bad at the game, so... But yeah, Infinity Force here, I think, is, is honestly just really good. Because then we can also go that on Kane when we get the next one, right? I'm going to slow roll above 50 for the rest. Our plan is that we can only really hit level 7. Come on. Oh my god. He can, he can swipe from afar? That's funny. I had no idea. I had no idea he could snipe from afar. You see that? Huh. But he should have he should have jumped, is the thing. He should have jumped. Zenith Edge on Sivir is a little bit spooky. I get he got his Q range evolution. True. True. Do I do I hop on the Sivir here? No. No, not quite. Not bad. But the Sivir's on him, so he's not actually gonna get his Titans fully stacked. Yeah, if, if my last augments like Gargantuan Resolve, I'm actually very happy about that. Or, yeah, no, I don't think you can... Can you get can you get Grim Harvest as on stage 4? Well, I guess it's just a Heavenly Emblem. Just get the Omnivamp. Easy. Terra TFT is a god at the teamfight tactics. He should do us all a favor. Keep playing and ignore the haters. True. True. Ah, I don't think I want these guys, actually. Well, do I? I mean... I think the Nico might be a bait. No, I think I do go for it. Squeak's animations are so violent. True. Facts. 165% bonus. That's 3% Omnivamp. See, like, I'm thinking, like, if I end up getting the, the Heavenly bonus to upgrade for Kiana as well, that seems really good for this, for this comp. You know? It seems really good. Cool. We killed a loon. He's got a he's got an AD Tom Kench. He's got AD Tom Kench. Look at him go. King of the lick. Look at that. Did he do the most damage? He did. That's so funny. That's so funny. King of the lick. Ari's kiss grants increased player health. Thank you. Thank you.
And then we just go Infinity Force on Kindred for the moment. We'll put that on Kane later. Yeah. But we can go Heavenly Seven this this game. Heavenly Seven would be would be pretty cool. But um But yeah, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to roll down soon. Doing Ken and a Kane and Shen for uh, Behemoth and Ghostly and Reaper. Yeah, and then you replace then then you replace uh, Shen with with Morgana. You replace Shen with Morgana late in the game. This build, by the way, on tier lists is uh, C tier. Just saying. But we're doing it anyway. I think it's pretty good when you have the Heavenly Emblem. Do we roll down after Wolves? I think we do. I think that is I think that is the play. Or maybe we wait to see what else we can get. That gives me a little bit of space. Now we have uh, 90 HP from Nico times 1.65. Celestial said, I suggested I say a moo moo. I mean, I feel like I could make it work. I feel like I could make it work. Remover? I don't think that really does anything for me. We have redemption though. That's pretty cool. All right, let's let's roll for our stuff now, please. You to bow. There's my Kazix. There's my that girl. Where's my Malphite? There's my Malphite. And then we do this. Nice. Big upgrades. Huge upgrades. Then we go Edge of Night on him. Heavenly Six, Reaper Two. Like, this team is so much better now. Extraordinarily better. Now I need an Econ Augment to, to get back into it. You don't know the funny thing? I have a dead bow right now. I took You Have My Bow as an Augment. Kane did the most? Excuse me? I guess, I mean, I guess Heavenly makes sense. He has, he has all the Heavenly buffs. Also, let's look at Kiana. Kiana gives 15%. She gives 30%. Everything that you see on here is doubled. Doubled. Uh, reinforcement, maybe. No, crash test dummies? Mm. Healing orbs. Yes. Healing orbs, yes. Inspiring epitaph, though. Hmm... Very tough choices. We have Omnivamp from 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 Heavenly, but healing orbs is just kinda big. Orbs with the melee carries, I know, but Epitaph with the with the melee carries. I'm gonna go orbs. I'm gonna go orbs. Alright, I think we do this. We position this way instead. That way, we wrap around the Malphite. And then that way, we get uh, we get Redemption. So they have a little bit of damage reduction. Cool. I also got concerned when you put Heavenly on Kane until I realized that you had the remover. Yeah! Yeah. It's also just like, I can only really reach level 7 with this comp right now, you know? Like, of course, yeah, we're gonna put it on Morgana later. We're definitely gonna put it on Morgana later. But I can only really expect to hit level seven. The Heavenly reroll, I just have so many three stars. So many three stars. Maybe we do this instead. You know, we position this way. 
That way we have the redemption on Nico instead. Because, I mean, realistically, like, Kha'Zix. Just really need tank items. Yeah. We get tank from, from this, right? We have 24 armor and MR for, for everybody from Malphite. Kane actually just has, like, 130 of each. That's, that's insane, actually. Kane has such a high base armor and MR. What? Why does he have 70 base? What's that? 70? Huh? No wonder he seems so strong. Why does he have 70 base? Yeah, it seems like he never dies because he can't. Ooh, ooh, Wukong coming my way. Wukong coming my way with a Titans. Ayo? <gasps> oh, that's so bad. Damn. That guy. That guy was so mean to me. All right, so then we're gonna level. We're actually we're gonna we're gonna push levels um, next round for Lissandra. Or actually, do we need the the Heavenly Six? We could just push for Lissandra right now, and then we maybe get some. Uh, then we maybe get some money from Lissandra. Maybe we just don't play this. You know, we could play Arcanist. That gives the same buff that Soraka did. Can you show what Malphite and Nico's base armor and MR are? Yeah, it's forty. Forty-five. Like the actual tanks have 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 lower. Seventy is unheard of. Did she just fizzle? She did. Excuse me. Like not only that, he's also ghostly, so he has passive healing. All right, so let's uh, let's level up just because. I mean, we have Crab Rave coming in. We we should get our money back, but I want to get I want to get Lissandra. I want to get Lissandra to. Oh, she's also Exalted. Ooh, we can fit Liss we can fit uh, Exalted into this. Huh. We do we just play a Galio, then we get Exalted. So we could either go the Exalted 3, or we could go Heavenly 7. Sevenly, if you will. Come on, Kha'Zix. You gotta hop onto that, onto that Kaisa soon. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, L watch him go. Wait, I have three loot orbs? Oh wait. One of them. Both two of those are his. He had a Lissandra that printed three loot orbs. Two loot orbs. Huh? Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, now we need just now we just need like Malphite items. See, look how smart you are. This Ka is going hard. I mean, he just, he falls off. <laughs> he falls off a good amount. Okay, so we have a Titans, or we have a Steadfast Heart. I think it's Steadfast Heart. Is never guaranteed. But we have so many items now, we just TG this. TG the Lilia. And then we build items on Malphite. Actually, so what we do here is we do Heavenly on her. We're going to do Titans here. We're going to do Even Shroud on this guy. And then we'll do one more tank item. So just go the belts, and the belt will, bu will build a Warmogs on him. 
Okay. What about Nico? Yeah, TG Nico. She's a three star. She's got all the heavenly bonuses. I need more tank, so TG on her is, is better. And this late in the game, TG gives um, better items, more tailored items. So, but yeah, look, the cane is still doing the most. Oh my goodness. We definitely want to level soon, but what would we put in? We already have Arcanist. So, Alawi is a little bit unnecessary. But we could put in the Ghostly, right? Ghostly wouldn't be bad. Sage for Wukong? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be putting in Morgana. going to be taking out Lissandra, putting in Morgana. Kha'Zix just trolled, moving away from that ash. Jesus. Come on. Yeah, if Kha'Zix stayed on that ash, then that would have been better. The set did how much? 6,200. Porcelain set. Spooky. Spooky. Quite spooky. We need Wukong, though. Like, realistically, that's the thing we're missing. Nice Nico items. Can we get an Exalted, actually? Or two-star Kane? That's better. There's Exalted. Let's take Exalted over Ghostly Behemoth. Just deal the extra damage. Because Exalted's going to give me 12% damage, which is basically just another Heavenly buff, right? You might as well consider that just another Heavenly buff. That's one buff that Heavenly is missing, is Damage Amp. Come on, Kha'Zix. Get your armor and MR buff. Thank you. Thank you. We're on the Hue. Nice. Kill the Hue. Please. Thank you. Okay, and, and the Kog'Maw is, is gonna... Yeah, Kog'Maw is gonna beat me there. Makes sense, makes sense. Kha'Zix did the most there, though. No Wukong, no Wukong. Mm. Kiana really doesn't do anything. So maybe it's just Vow for my for my Lissandra. Yeah, it's just Vow for my Lissandra. I want her to, to, to cast more often. So give her a little bit more tankiness. Give her a little bit more mana. <gasps> we have achieved sevenly and two star cane. Sevenly? Sevenly moment? We go vow on him now. And then we'll end up going Morgana over Lissandra. This is necessary. <laughs> we have no loose items. We have sevenly going. Right? Oh, IRL word ban for that. Alright, we have heavenly seven. So boring.
You're so mean. Why would you do that to me? Um, yeah, I think we just move our Kha'Zix over a little bit so it's actually... Mm. I completely forgot that we were able to see our, 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 our opponents this entire game. I completely forgot about that. Do I get a loot orb? I got money. I got money. More? No, no more. Okay. I got like two monies from that. That's not bad. Running exalted for one round. Oh shoot. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh shoot. Uh Ray King carries, true. Let's see. Okay. Alright. I think we're good. I think the seven heavenly is fine. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We beat Crab Rave, y'all. GG. GG. I was the first one to beat Crab Rave, too. This guy lost. This guy lost. This guy won with his set. His crazy porcelain set. All right, so porcelain set with Ash. They're the only ones that could beat the, the Crab. So now we want to build for Wukong. Edge of Night for him. And... Gunblade for Lissandra, maybe? Mm, Edge of Night, maybe maybe Rageblade. Or actually, Nashers is pretty good on him, too. I think it's Gunblade. Nah, Nashers. Eh, yeah, Nashers. Anti-heal for the insane set? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that was the play. Kane is going, though. Look at him go. Sheesh. How'd the Wukong do? Wukong did decently. That's not mine. Rip! That's his? This loot orb is never gonna be seen? That's crazy. What happened to my boy, my Kha'Zix? He fizzled. He fizzled and died. Next round, we're actually going to, we're gonna level up and we're gonna put in Exalted. So then we'll have like so much more going for it. Oh, actually, you know what happened? I, I was still positioned for Crab Rave. That's what happened. I killed him, true. <laughs> Hop on the cause on the Janna? No? Okay. Oh my god. We are not on the back line. We kind of are, but not really. Wait, we're on the Soraka? Nice. Oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The rest of my team is dead. Do we top four here? He might lose. Looks like he's gonna lose. Oh, it's to me! Let's go! Wait, no, that's... Wait, that means he wins. Never mind. Wait? Wait, Kha'Zix? Wait, Kha'Zix? No, okay. Rip. I lost to this guy, too. That's a shame. Alright, so we have... We have Exalted now. Exalted 3. Facing this guy... 
I think we need to snipe that Syndra. I think if we snipe that Syndra, I think we'll be in good shape. Can we wrap around with this? Oh my god, the cane, what are you doing? What is going on? What was that positioning? What just happened? Alright, well, we're on the Syndra. That's the thing I wanted to do. Sheesh. Kill this guy. Nice. I'm afraid of this guy. How did that pathing work? I don't know. It was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> Alright, so we're top three. We're top three. Also, we might be... So, we, we we are on, like, one and a half lives right now. We might win one... We might, like, still survive if we lose once. We don't have any loose... Uh, that guy does. He has... He could get Story Weaver out of it, but I doubt that that's what he wants. He goes Steadfast Heart. Steadfast Heart would be fine. Right? Steadfast Heart for our Lissandra. Have her, uh, have her cast more often. You know? Or is it Steadfast Heart for my Kiana? Hmm. Might be. Might be, actually. That, that, that damage reduction might be enough for what she needs. We could also go Altruist if we, if we felt like it. So what I want to do here is I actually, I want to Steadfast Heart here... I'm going to plant Wukong right in front of Lissandra, and then he has Edge of Night, so he'll he'll survive it. Do I hop into the back line with this? No, I don't. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Kane's on the back line, good. Kha'Zix's on the back line, good. Oh wait, he's getting he's getting locked up. He's getting locked up. Kill the right person, Kane. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, man. Well, somebody's dying here. So it's a top two. It is a top two. Look at that. I'm okay with this. GG. <laughs> Nico decided to be the Shredder. Oh man, the even shroud is far away. Whoops. It's okay. That's alright. Positioning diff is the only way that I win this. He's on the ash. Never mind, he walked away. What was that? Belt? The belt saves the game. Nah, GG. Alright, that was pretty fun though. Alright, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.